the greatest movie of all time. It's not a phrase to be taken lightly and it's not a phrase to be thrown around frivolously. It could only be kept for very special movies. One of those such movies is American Rickshaw directed by the always awesome Sergio Martino. This could be his best movie that he's ever made. <coughs> Now, not because the cinematography is great, not because the direction is particularly brilliant, but because of the sheer lunacy that we get to experience while watching this movie. It's a bit of a convoluted story, and to be honest, I don't really know how I'm going to condense it down. What the heck is going on here? But we'll try to hit the main plot points. The movie starts with uh, Scott, our main character, played by Mitch Gaylord, ex-Olympic swimmer, who um, is a, a rickshaw driver. He happens to pick up this elderly Asian woman in the rain, literally giving her the ride of her life. <laughs> And then we jump six months to she's sending some sort of mystical uh, Asian artifact through the post to him to keep along with a letter that details all the most important things about this amulet which he uh, just loses almost immediately uh, under the amorous advances, <laughs> advances of uh, the next door neighbour who is married but her husband's in the room but she's still trying her damnness to get into Scott's pants. My dear friend, my name is Madame Moon. I am the woman you helped in the rain about six months ago. It took me a while to trace you, but I wanted you to have this small gift. Ah. Mi amor, mi amor. Asuncion, you scared me. Scare you? I love you, Bobby. My dear friend, my name is Madame Moon. I am the woman you helped in the rain about six months ago. Hi, Scott. You do not answer my summons. There is a stripper. There is a televangelist preacher played by Donald Pleasance. There is um, the, uh, the televangelist son who is a bit of... He's a complete weirdo who loves to <laughs> record people um, having sex, hiring them to do so so he can record it. He's a bit of a, a freak that way. Hey, Scott! What's the matter? The show must go on. You get... A, an assassin that's out to kill people and retrieve goods. What the heck is going on here? And you get a whole hell of a lot of mysticism. <laughs> it's just, oh my goodness, it's so much fun. Sir, would you like a ride? Sure, take me downtown. Now you get to see a lot of these people, that the, the rickshaw drivers just hanging about and to be honest it looks like um, just a cover for being prostitutes but like, go with it anyway. Hey girls, want to ride the American rickshaw? Hey babe, ride with me, give you a discount. I'll carry you my arms if you prefer. Hey, the boss is really mad. He waited until a few minutes ago. It's a busy night tonight. This movie has got some of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen in film and it is absolutely brilliant. 
because of it. There is this ancient witch, which is the Asian woman at the start, as you start to see throughout the movie, she has some sort of psychic link with Scott. Well, it could be that, or she could be extremely constipated. I'm not entirely sure which one it is. And then we get the stripper that comes into it, whose name I can't even remember, who's a character that is um, more wooden than a plank of wood, who, who comes in and uh, her idea of being sultry is laughably awesome. Take it easy. You make a move and I might have you arrested for rape. There is a trite story about a magical boar uh, ornament. and. To be honest, the movie is all over the place and it doesn't make sense. What the heck is going on here? And trying to really discover what's at the heart of this movie is pointless. It just doesn't matter. This is a kitchen sink movie, as in everything has been thrown in, including the kitchen sink. Never trust a whore. The performances in American Rickshaw are absolutely Oscar worthy. Sorry, I mean the complete opposite of Oscar worthy. Um, they're just so much um, fun. Subtle to hear is a, it's a lost art. These actors are literally hitting home their lines with a sledgehammer and it's awesome because of it. <laughs> It's got some really fun sequences and it's got a main character who um, delivers such awesome lines like this one. Get out or I'll scream. You scream, I swear to God I'm going to stick you with this thing, alright? I found it in the gutter. I'm sure you're familiar with AIDS. Let's go, drive. Which I think is just absolutely uh, hilarious. It had me doubled over so much so I had to rewind it and watch it again. You get another side story of policemen, one who's fascinated by horoscopes. It's been a hell of a day. My horoscope said today was going to be a bitch. Horoscope. I thought it was a throwaway line at the start, but it keeps coming back throughout the movie so many times. Information you won't find on your computer. <laughs> if you like, I can lend you my book on the Chinese horoscope. No thanks. And he gets to have his moment of, I told you so, because horoscopes actually come into play at certain points. I get the feeling you'll be checking your horoscope tomorrow. Donald Pleasance delivers some wonderful sermons on the mound here. The Chinese go- <laughs> Cut it! The Chinese- And, you know, although sometimes he can be a bit of a bore, it is incredibly fun. American Rickshaw is cheesy, over the top, ridiculous, stupid and silly. Oh God, you son of a bitch. <laughs> but my goodness, it is entertaining, so entertaining. I love this movie. I had a great time watching this. I can't wait to watch it again. I can't wait to surprise my friends by throwing on this movie and watching their shocked faces as they try to digest what they're watching. What the heck is going on here? Of course, I'd love to know your thoughts on this movie. And you know what? I've got some other videos up here that you can check out if you like my content. You know, Maybe hit that with a like, subscribe, join the membership program or the Patreon program to really support me. And I'll see you next time on Man V Film. <coughs>